The Harlem Renaissance began in 1919, when many African Americans, which were mainly from the South, went up north to express their talents. There are a variety of writers, photographers, artists, and more who came to the north to be a part of this period. There are many people who helped make the Harlem Renaissance what it was. This included a whole lot of dancers, artists, writers, activists or supporters, poets, architectures, and many people like that to help contribute to the importance of the Harlem Renaissance. James Vander Zee was a photographer during the Harlem Renaissance. He was part of the Renaissance for over 50 years. His photographs captured the celebration of life of the black middle class, and he did so very well. His photos reflected comfort, success, and independence. Vendersy's photo, titled Wedding Day, is of an African-American bride and groom. They both look calm and serene in their wedding attire, and everyone knows that a wedding is a great accomplishment. Vander Z captures triumph and reflects success. Augusta Savage was a sculptor during the Harlem Renaissance who actually got her start in art school. They quickly nominated her to do a bust of W.E.B. Du Bois, which is a well-known activist of the Harlem Renaissance. She was a very talented lady and usually sculpted African Americans. Savage's sculptor titled Gammon is actually influenced by her nephew. Gammon is a French word that means street urchin. And as you can see, the sculpture shows a young boy donning a hat that looks as if he was a troublemaker, which relates to the name of the piece. Aaron Douglas was a painter during the Harlem Renaissance. He came to Harlem to express his creativity. In his paintings, there are hard edges, repetitive shapes, and flat forms. It is said that his paintings symbolize the opportunities of the Harlem Renaissance. His painting, Song of the Towers, shows how he can artfully collaborate shapes together to create a piece that symbolizes hardships of African Americans. Jazz music was very popular during the time, and the saxophone symbolizes the opportunities that they had. Oscar Michaud was a filmmaker during the Harlem Renaissance. He produced the first African American film in 1919. He also made numerous silent features. His work contradicted negativity stereotypes of African Americans and were usually widescreen. Temptation is one of his films. It is about a model getting caught up and involved in a case of someone killing others in Harlem by merely being at the table that the killer sat at. All of the cast for this film was African American. James L. Wells was an artist in the Harlem Renaissance. He specialized in graphic art while also doing etching and printmaking. It is said that some of his works have a religious theme and is also reflected on the vitality during the Holy Renaissance. Sisters, made by Wills, is considered to be an illustration. It was inspired by African and Egyptian art. The women are identical and seem as if they are powerful from the way they are gazing off from the side and the way they are positioned. Sergeant Steve Johnson was a painter, sculptor, and a ceramic artist during the Harlem Renaissance. He sometimes is considered a Harlem Renaissance artist because of his positive representations of African Americans. He actually spent his career in California. Johnson's sculpture, Chester, is of an African American boy. It captures a young boy perfectly during that period and has a lot of positivity about it. It is painted terracotta, which is hard fire clay that is brownish in color. Doc's Thrash was an inventive artist during the Harlem Renaissance. 
He was a very talented printmaker. He confronted cultural history of African Americans and focused on the evolution of African American identity through all of his art. Life was a work of thrashes. It is of a young African American girl reading what appears to be a magazine or newspaper of some sort. This work was done on mesotint, which is a tonal print that prints light in areas that are polished and dark in areas that are rough. Palmer Hayden was an artist in the Harlem Renaissance. It was said that he was the first to use African American subjects and designs in his paintings. He focused on African American experiences and combined the South with New York in all of his art. Hayden's Midsummer Night in Harlem is said to be a representational piece. It shows a community of African Americans on a Midsummer Night who had just come from church. It looks as if they are cooling off outside. It represents stereotypes of the community which lack support. In all, the Harlem Renaissance was a great cultural celebration. Without it, many African Americans would not have been able to successfully exhibit their talent to the world or even have a start. The Harlem Renaissance helped shape America and is still very influential to the history.